your previous life, in your real life before the legislature, and, and even uh, during part of your tenure there, you've been a, a licensed therapist doing family and drug and alcohol abuse counseling. That's correct. And you have a lot of experience with folks with mental health and drug abuse problems. We've seen a lot of folks who fall in that category of vulnerable people who have had fatal interactions with the police here in Albuquerque. What do we need to do to fix that problem? What's gone wrong and what do we need to do to fix it? Well, if we have professionals that know what to do, then we should utilize them. You know, I'm going off a little bit here. This part doesn't have to go on, but we're talking about education. There's a lot of educational professionals. When you get them all mixed up, who knows what happens? But when, when it comes to mental health, it gets smaller. Back to your question. When you have professionals that know and want to get involved, as, as I did with my bill, these individuals should be at the scene even prior to somebody coming down the scene with a weapon on their hands, on, in, in their hands, uh, this is the kind of individual that it needs the support services that doesn't need to be scared right away and then we take off from a whole different direction. There are professionals who know how to work with these kind of people, feel comfortable working with them. They should have the opportunity to interact with them before anybody else gets to that point where they on the other them. hand, you know, uh, we had just a few years ago, well, about seven or eight years ago, we had uh, someone with mental health issues shoot and kill several APD officers during uh, an event that didn't seem like it was that important. So mm -hmm. how can we balance protecting our public servants and uh, protecting uh, people who are, you know, suffering with mental yeah. illness? Well, Unfortunately, we're still talking about the same police officers that show up, and, and that's what they have to do because they're trained to do that. And they don't know how else, they don't take off their uniforms. They can't do that. But you show up at somebody's house, or you show up on the street, or somebody up on the, on, on the mountaintop, and they're, they show up with uniforms and guns hanging off the side. What's the first thing you're thinking, you know, especially if they have them drawn? You know, it's going to be a whole different situation. People it's scary. Can, it is scary, and especially if you have a mental health problem. Right. But what happens if you show up and you don't, you know, show any kind of, you don't have to be scared, I'm coming here to help you. I'm from the government and I'm here to help you. <laughs> you know, like That'll work. Two different kind of governments. That'll work. But, and I say that, not jokingly, but, you know, people have to understand it. I did that for years. I what really do you did. Think of and nobody, I didn't have this problem. But I wasn't scared of anybody. I had people with weapons. I had people with guns. I wasn't scared they were going to shoot me. People with, with who's schizophrenia responsible doesn't the, really have who's that Who's responsible problem. for the problem that we have now? Is it Mayor Barry? Is it no. the last chief? Is it the current chief? Is uh, it Marty Chavez for no. saying that we don't, <laughs> ha that our police officers don't have yeah. to have college degrees? Yeah. I, don't, I don't know. I don't like to assign blame. I, I think the, the problem is, is that we have right now available to us, that's what my bill was about, a new availability. We had right now available to us police officers who do what they're trained to do and they have to do that and I don't blame them for what restraints they have. So let APD keep doing what it's doing, but when you have someone with mental health issues, call in experts on those issues to help. That's what you're saying? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I know, see, le legislators go on for too, too much, but you're exactly right. That's when I said, remember at the beginning? Mm. Let professionals handle this one. Police officers are professionals at writing tickets, investigating scenes of accidents and so forth, but dealing with mental health? that They're not trained in that, and I sure wouldn't want to do that. If, if as a, I'm a mental health professional, I can deal with these, and if people wanted to do that, but should I go to a scene of the accident and do an investigation? No, I'm not trained for that. You're not good at taking fingerprints. No. All right, we're not going to make you do it. Thank you for staying late and talking to You're us welcome. for this web extra.